how much does your business get charged for IT support? Are you paying too little and as a result your business is at risk? Or is your IT provider fleecing you and could you save some money? Well that's what today's video is all about. But before we start, my name is Jonathan Edwards and I'm a business IT consultant from Yorkshire in the UK. My IT company helps businesses with their IT support and the cyber security. The single biggest question that we get asked from prospects is how much is your IT support service? Now this obviously makes perfect sense. Perhaps your business has never used an IT provider before, but your business has grown to a level where you need more specialist help. Or perhaps you've always used an IT provider, but you're just a bit fed up with the service that you're getting. So you go onto Google and you search for IT support companies. You find a couple of websites that you like, but the biggest question in your mind is how much does it all cost? Does it fit within my budget? Now let me let you into a little secret. IT support isn't some kind of dark art. There's a lot of IT providers who try to make it really complicated. If you look at a lot of IT providers' websites, they won't list any pricing. They want you to contact them so they can get you into their sales cycle. My IT company, on the other hand, always is transparent with its pricing. We know what customers need, we know what customers want. So we publish packages on our pricing page on our website. I wish more IT providers would do this. But this video isn't about my IT company, it's about how much should IT support cost your business. Now the first thing to mention is cost might differ from country to country. Indeed, cost might differ from different parts of the country. My IT company is based in Yorkshire in the north of England, and so prices are probably relevant to the area that we're in. But you should be able to get a decent idea. If you are new to this channel, I did recently make a video on the nine key questions that you should be asking any would-be IT provider. So if you've not checked that out, I recommend that you do so. But without further ado, let's start talking about pricing for IT support services. Let's talk about pay-as-you-go IT support packages for a moment. I have lost count of the number of times someone has called our office and said, I don't want one of these fancy IT support contracts. All I want to do is call someone when things go wrong. I'm happy to pay for their time on an hourly basis. Now, I always disagree, politely of course. I don't believe any business benefits from pay-as-you-go IT support services. Every business needs proactive support. They need a specialist IT company who are constantly monitoring your IT estate to make sure that it's working well and to make sure that it stays secure. If you're just calling someone when something goes wrong, problems could become huge and it's a massive risk for your business. Plus, if you are paying some of these really big hourly rates, I've seen it range from £50 an hour right up to £150 an hour. You could be paying hundreds of pounds if someone spends perhaps half a day fixing one of your IT problems. You're just not going to get value for money. So that's what I think about pay-as-you-go IT support. Let's now start talking about what I really do believe in, and that is IT support contracts. What you should be looking for in your business is a fixed fee IT support package. That means you pay one fee, either per user or per device per month, and then you can budget for all your IT support needs and your security and your proactive monitoring. So how much should these packages cost? I have seen pricing for IT support packages vary wildly. So let's have a look at a couple of examples and hopefully I can make you understand what you should be looking for in your business. I once started working with a new customer and their previous IT support company were charging them £10 per device per month. Now, they got fed up of this IT provider because the service wasn't very good. And to try and explain why the service wasn't very good, Let's have a look at some maths. If this IT provider only charges £10 per device per month and you've got, say, 20 devices, then they will be charging you £200 per month. Now, if they've got 50 customers, so they've got 50 customers identical to you, that means they'll be getting revenue of about £10,000 per month. 
but for that they will have to support a thousand devices across all their customer base so I hope you're keeping up so in that case out of that ten thousand pounds they've got to afford salaries for engineers they've got to afford office space they've got to afford training for their engineers they've got to afford all their tools to help keep their customers protected ten thousand pounds doesn't go a long way if we're looking at skilled IT professionals the salaries start at about £25,000 a year and they'll go up to £100,000 so if you're looking at your £10,000 a month how many members of staff can you have? so what happened to this company who were charging £10 per device per month? well I don't know the exact details but I can guess they probably didn't have enough members of staff because they couldn't afford to hire them that means all their customers suffered from not very good service. Secondly, it probably meant that the staff that they did have weren't adequately trained. So again, that would lead to a poor service to their customers. And thirdly, they probably didn't invest in security software to help keep their clients protected. So it left their customers probably at risk. So although your business might be happy with a low IT support invoice, what you're actually getting is a poor service and a risk to your business so paying cheap isn't always the answer so we've already established that paying 10 or 15 pounds per device per month for your IT support is too low and it's going to lead to a risk in your business let's now have a look at the other side of that what price for IT support is too much I've taken over IT contracts before and I've looked at the invoices from previous IT companies and I've been shocked at the high prices that I've seen on some of them. I think some people take advantage that you might not necessarily understand technology so you don't know what really you're buying. You just want it done and you want it done right. But you can pay too much for IT support. It's hard to put a figure on this but let's give you a few pointers. Obviously, a lot of this is going to come down to geography. If your IT company is based in a big city like London, then you're going to pay more for IT support. It means their office costs are higher, their salaries are higher, and that will be reflected in the prices they charge. It doesn't necessarily mean that they're ripping you off, it means that their fixed costs are going to be higher. There's also the matter if your IT company has specialization in the industry that you're in. For example, if you're an accountant or a law firm. If you hire an IT company who has vast experience in those sectors, then you're going to expect to pay more. Your business is fundamentally going to benefit. Now, when it comes to putting a figure on what is too high a price for IT support, it's difficult to say. But I think if you're paying more than £100 per device per month for IT support, I think you're paying too much and I think you should look for alternative quotes. Now I hope this video has been beneficial in some way. As I said, it's difficult sometimes to put figures on things. But if you've got any questions, please feel free to let me know and I'll see you again soon.